Ida Ice Learning Center Time Series Diagram From the Results tab, we can open a number of time series diagrams, which have automatically been generated by Ida Ice. We are now going to be viewing the main temperatures for Office Room 1. Here we can see that the time series diagram displays both the mean air temperature and the operative temperature. The operative temperature is calculated based on the mean air temperature and the mean radiant temperature. The mean radiant temperature is derived from the surface temperatures and the calculation is based on the area weighting. The arrow buttons in the bottom left corner enable us to navigate within the time series diagram. Through the up and down button, we can select certain pre-specified periods. We can choose between hour, date, a certain week, month or an annual display. We now select a weekly display. And with the left and right arrows, we can navigate between different weeks. We are now going back to an annual view of the data. Ida Ice does not only display the information as a function of time, but also in other formats. For instance, we can have a look at duration curves. In this case, the duration curve displays for how many hours per year a space is below a certain temperature. Results are displayed for all the 876 hours of the year. In the results display of Ida Ice, it is also possible to drag and drop items between different diagrams. For instance, if you open up the time series diagram for the air handling unit, we can see that this also contains information about the dry bulb temperature of the outside air. We now click onto the title and drag and drop this item into the graph of the zone temperatures. Here we go. We now have display of the zone temperatures as well as of the temperatures of the outside air. In the second top of the diagram, we can have a look at the data in table format. Here is now an example of a tabular view. And this column contains information about the linear temperature for every month, similar to the graphical display. We also have the option to choose between different display periods. When we choose weekly display, the relevant data is displayed for every day. The graphical and tabular display we are seeing here is saved in HTML format, so it's possible to export it to other software applications. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. You will find more videos if you go to Help and Process Guides. There is a whole series of videos stored there. Under Help, you will also find our Getting Started Guide as a PDF document. Also, never hesitate to contact support or write to our forum for further questions or support. And remember to check out our website. Under Events, there, you can find upcoming courses. We frequently host beginners and advanced courses on various topics.